Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the two minds against the Overlord campaign. Saiken and Tadcat jointly are trying to survive in the inhospitable uh, environment of a alien invasion. It is time for a supply raid. Uh, Tadcat nailed everything, didn't uh, miss a beat. So I'm now up with the extraction of advanced supplies. And part of that will be to um, push through Operation Eyes Wheel. We do have five uh, soldiers available, and in typical Saiken fashion, uh, they got Hogbite. I can already see Hogbite has uh, Blade Storm, so what am I supposed to do? You gotta take uh, the wins where you can get them. So Eric Anderson is going to lead the team, although he's a squaddy. I also I have a certain preference for a couple of classes, such as the Field Medic. So Mori will join us and I want to level Mori a little bit further. Um, then, um, I definitely like the Marine as a class and we don't have a proper like higher level Marine. It feels uh, that uh, Tepcat is landing on different classes and that's fine. Maybe we just have an A squad and a B squad. Uh, but I definitely like Marines and what they bring to the table. So XQ6 is going to join us with a big fat LMG. And lately I put a couple of Corporals in so that we can progress even a bit further. Uh, took one Zapper and uh, Corporal Marquez, uh, our sniper with us. And that needs to be good enough. Extracting advent supplies, uh, typically uh, a tech specialist with uh, the... Um, with the gremlins would not be bad, but I chose to go without it, and let's see how that is going. All right, we are jumping down. Time to get as many of the 12. Oh, it's a supply raid mission. Never mind. Scratch the comment around uh, the gremlin. So a couple of things with uh, supply rate missions, uh, they will not start until we are losing concealment, in which case we can actually take it a bit slower. I want to keep the high ground here, Hawkbyte is taking the low ground and let's position ourselves down here. We got a shotgun loaded on our zapper. So I want to play her more like a frontline zapper with um, medic and marine in midfield and the sniper in the back line. That's at least the idea. Sniper takes the prime position over here. Looks good. XQ6 takes the other prime position. And Hogbite begins to explore. Nope, nothing. Hogbite moves further forward. First patrol to be spotted. Our zapper moves in. Don't be afraid of taking the gas station, uh, the, ga the gas station uh, cover. Enemies can't explode them. Oh, should have raised. Never mind, we have plenty of time to do that. Order's confirmed. On the move. Moving in deeper. I wish we could go on top. Now there is no cover here. Which really means our Marine needs to play the front line as well. Ten four. Guide my hand. Good, we're bracing. Overwatch, overwatch, overwatch. And let's wait for some of the patrols to come in. If we were to go uh, too deep into that direction, we would be risking. Orders confirmed. Moving out. We would be risking to uh, trigger another pack, and we certainly don't want that. As you order. 
Instead, I'm wondering if we should take this here as full cover. Out. The worst idea. Frontline has changed a little bit. Okay, perfect. I'm on the move. Here I come. We're Interesting. Okay, well, see, the advantage is if you're only blue, uh, blue uh, stepping. You still have the option to then uh, continue what you have been doing beforehand. So let's start with the obvious ones. Our sniper. Delaying the shot until the enemy turn. That's a 100% uh, chance to hit. So let's try that. Can overwatch if needed. XQ6. One down, thousands to go. And gets a nice uh, move by getting the Sun Lancer down. And Hogbite moves up into full cover. We're overwatching here. Fifty fifty is good enough for me. We have enough Overwatch uh, going as is. That was close. We got eyes on you. Impressed yet? All right. Good. Very good. Um. Four starters. Don't try this at home, children. I don't want to stand in the open. But the flanking is actually going to help us. Nice little hit. Hawk bite. We'll get uh, the kill and the focus. Thanks to melee vulnerability, not a problem. Moves up, marking the supplies. We won't be able to get that one. And I don't want to push too far. Instead, we're going to very solidly overwatch. There's a good chance that another pack will run right into us. Sniper repositions. Next round, I would take the forward high ground because our aiming angles are too bad. And we lost one crate. That's okay. General rule of thumb is the first few crates, the first two or three, are quite profitable. Everything after the first three is having heavy diminishing returns. So in other words, it is almost never uh, worth sacrificing or endangering your own operators just in order to get those. Very good. should be a kill. 
and we shouldn't trigger anything else. I am moving in with Hogbite first to make sure that in case something would be triggered, we have uh, plenty of other actions to react. It's non-breakable cover, although the one that he's standing behind is actually breakable. Should have moved one further to the left. But it's okay. Sniper moves up. Hogbite does not have parry yet. So takes full cover here. What's over there? And I don't want to trigger anything else. So we're staying in a safe distance. Awesome hit. Like it. Well, I suppose the right way here is to remove cover and the overwatch and maybe go for a flawless mission. Bracing. Can't get close enough to the target. Ah, uh, that was foreseeable, but we're okay. Reload into a 100% stock kill. Into more overwatch. I'm careful there is still a third pack and I do not want to trigger that. Okay, sacrificing two further crates. Rather want to make sure we're getting all of the experience and a flawless mission instead of just rushing in. Also, you want to have a solid fire line from left to right. You can see all kind of one line of fire. XQS6 moves in, so does the rest. Back in. Reloading. Let's move already. On Overwatch. Back on line. On Overwatch. No one will slip past. All right. More crates will be extracted soon. But I think we're in a good position. Yeah, we can get both of them. Mark the supplies. Are these pathfinders? Drone, drone, destroyer, okay. And face drones. Face drones are nasty. They deal a surprising amount of damage for their size, that is. And have stupid shields on top of it. So not to be underestimated.
All right, let's start. 90% shot missed, unfortunate. Continue to overwatch. It's like a hundred percent kill. Plus some extra damage for the other drone. And Hawkbite can get the kill here. And momentum carries him far enough away so that uh, the Pathfinder or whatever it is needs to come. Never mind. Okay. Well, that was a gnarly turn. Good, we need to get rid of its cover and shredding it a little bit certainly helps as well. There we go, shield gone, shredded. What's over there? Moving up. Good hit. Fantastic hit. I hope it's worth it. Overwatch here, and we're going to leave the target. Good. We got all of uh, the crates with the exception of two, which is okay. Hawkbite's pull, unfortunate, but he was in full cover, so, but it was a Psy attack. I actually don't know how that unit in particular works, whether or not it even has a chance to, um, to miss. Thirty days gravely wounded, what is wrong with you? Good, XQS6 has done a really good uh, job. I like covering fire because it always triggers. The danger zone isn't bad either if you then go for pin him down and uh, withering barrage because then you have a really large zone. But I think covering fire is what we're going for. That into shredder is how I would skill it. Bravely wounded, 30 days, effort, that's not good, our superior focus is not making up for it. I'm a bit miffed, my favorite character didn't get a level up and is in the sick bay for 30 days. Well. Can't have it uh, your way every single time, can you? We're picking up an unsecured transmission from some Which uh, brings me to question. Like kind of we're for. Are we going for a training center here? Lab rush would be cool as well. Hmm, good question. Trading center is the obvious one uh, for bonds and for quicker utilization. But laboratory, if you if you can make a lab rush work, it's actually quite potent.
There is the black market, which is good. Another soldier. I will leave that open because if we wait until next month, uh, that soldier will be of a higher rank. And we're almost done with that month. So what do we have available? Advanced perception for 45 intel. Uh, yes, easy. The rest, not so easy. In terms of selling. One expanded magazine is okay. Focus is really not good. So might as well sell it for 20. The rest is okay. We want to make contact and I think our highest marine should get a, that advanced perception. 10 aim is good, really good. Resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Good. We will make the first move. Africa. Let's move over. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Commander, we've received word and we do have the first alien facility. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region. We can make a move on that facility and destroy it to set back the alien's operation. The Very good. Resistance radio, fantastic. That'll give us the option for continent bonuses. Inspired 30 days. I don't know if Tepcat will agree with an armor first rush. But it is inspired, so what am I supposed to say? It's not the worst. I've done armor first rushes and they actually worked out reasonably well. We could upgrade this, but it requires more power. We have a chance to deal the elders a great blow, should you wish us to, Commander. Form soldiers bond. Ah, uh, that's not good. That on the other hand is fabulous. Seven dodge really really good and we're even increasing the combat intelligence so this is a good payoff we will begin the covert action immediately commander that is a good payoff um Let's see, GTS, squad size 2 requires captain, that is still a bit down the line. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past Good. Uh, potentially, yeah, just trying to ruin our finances as always. Carry more explosives, uh, not as problematic as bleeding rounds. Bleeding rounds uh, suck, so we should try to uh, to counter that. 10% more XP. Yes, please. Um, yeah, 10% more XP is actually okay. And seeing that we have a broad roster, might not be the worst idea. We're okay on supplies, so I continue making contact. My followers require assistance beyond what I can provide. Can you help us, Commander? And that would be a corporal field medic and a corporal tech specialist. And he's up against lost yet again. Well, 
calling Commander Tapcat for the telephone joker and uh, 83 Intel would allow us to expand further. The engineer is very well needed and uh, two extra soldiers, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. In terms of armory, I think we're going to be okay here. He's likely going to go in with Reaper, Zapper, Tech Specialist, and then whatever. I mean, there are a couple of options. So yeah, that it really depends. We do have solid Alarium, solid Alloys. So thanks to the supply rate that uh, went uh, well. Um, plated armor, it's okay. It uh, slowed down because we put one of uh, the researchers onto the covert action mission. But overall, I think technical education is going to be worth it in the long run. Upgrade um, of her to a higher combat intelligence and dodge is a really, really good uh, strategy. Uh, we do have reduced avatar progress. That's uh, likely going to be the next one. Feedback isn't bad either, but I think the avatar progress is more important just to stay in the game. Yeah, and with an extra engineer, I think we can continue clearing out. Laboratory will come in uh, beginning of next month, uh, so that's more preparation for the future. Overall, it's looking good. I mean, it's slow going, but it's looking all right. We have uh, good soldiers. Uh, we soon need to upgrade our weapons, but that'll uh, that'll come in time. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to upgrade, uh, hit the like button and help upgrading the channel. And other than that, see you in two days. Bye-bye.